Hi, I'm Jen from Jen There Done That, and we are in beautiful Ponce at Casillo Sere. Colin, help me with this one. Serraye. Serraye. <laughs> this is the house that Rum built, Don Q Rum Distillery. This is their family home. It's been donated to the municipality of Ponce so that we can tour this gorgeous 1930s Spanish Revival architecture castle. And it is stunning. I can't wait to go inside. There are plenty of signs along the road for Museo Seraye as you drive up the winding one-way streets up the hill to the castle. We get our first glimpse of Seraye Castle just on the left. The first thing you'll probably notice is the Watchman's Cross. It is a 10-story, 100-foot tall observation deck located just behind the museum. During peak season, you can buy your tickets online to reserve your spot. Online tickets are an additional $5 per person with third-party ticket fees. Here, Helen is going down to buy our tickets on site. Tickets are $10 for property admission or $15 for the property plus a guided tour and access to the Japanese gardens we just passed. Now that we have our tickets for the tour, there's additional time for us to walk the property grounds and just enjoy the gorgeous 2.5 acre property built long before central air conditioning. There's a strong breeze from the Caribbean Sea to naturally cool the property, and all of these windows and doors can be opened, which keeps the entire mansion cool and comfortable year round. The magnificent garden and incredible views make Casillo Seraye a stunning location for weddings and events. There were several photo shoots on this morning, including engagement photos and a quinceanera girl in her gorgeous pink gown. Each terrace has a view out to downtown Ponce and the Caribbean Sea. While the tour focuses on architecture, family history, life in the 1930s, and details specific to the home, as we see from these rum barrels, there are still some hints to the family business and rum production. There are more water features and unique plants as we tour the property. The cobra? The nice. flower because of this. It's the tenth one. And look at it. It's gorgeous. Clearly marked Aereo de Photo for the photo spot. They don't want us to miss this guy. <laughs> That's so cool. Yes, I do want a picture. That is absolutely adorable. Look at that cool metal sculpture. Do I have it? Do I have it right? <laughs> There's better. I need, I need my sword and my shield. Da -da. Da -da -da. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, oh, that's so cute. That's the queen. We have to. Equipment, 
I just love all the little details around the garden. This tree is massive. Look at it. I know the tree is big and gorgeous. It's over 75 years old. Wow, look at that. The garden is just shaded and lush and so beautiful. There's where we were getting our photos taken at the Queen of the Dolls photo spot. Soon we'll be going up for the tour and we'll be in those rooms up there. And here's another photo shoot going on for engagement photos. Just a few more minutes admiring the gorgeous garden on the terrace before we begin our tour. Photos and video are not allowed for the first half of the tour. We begin in the projection room for a 15 minute video on the history of the family and the property. Photos and video are allowed after the kitchen portion of the tour. The open air courtyard was originally built without a roof and this fountain would extend all the way up to the top. We go up another flight of stairs to the top level terrace and incredible views, but it's very windy up here. Hello from beautiful Ponce. During this portion of the tour, we learn all about the history of Ponce. The sugar plantation and operations covered most of what is now the city. Even the Ponce Airport began as the Saraye Family Private Airport. There was even a rail line to transport train cars full of sugarcane. Housing was provided to the workers, and many of these houses that we see below still belong to the descendants of the original distillery families. Here are several rooms full of photos and memorabilia about the sugar plantation workers and sugarcane production. There are plans to remodel and update this portion of the museum. And now we finally learn the history of the name Don Q. And on the ceiling is a window. <laughs> As we head downstairs, we pass through the living room and dining room that we saw previously. And floor to ceiling, this place is gorgeous. We exit through the gift shop and back out onto the terrace for a gorgeous view. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos from Gen There, Done That in Puerto Rico, the Caribbean, and beyond.